If you don't know LangFuse, it's an observability LLM tool that can help you track the request that uh, you are making from your AI application to the large language models. And uh, with this tool, you can see the traces you have sent to the APIs. You see the calls that you send. You see in here is that this is the interface. And here you have the model. You have the cost for every model. It's not only tracking the known ones. It's also you tracks the other one, like, uh, for instance, and the mixtral that it's used with uh, grow. This is the interface and here you will have all the details. If you go to tracing, for instance, you will see the traces in this area. This is similar with the with a tool like uh, Langsmith. And with the help of this tool, you can uh, track your AI applications and see exactly what is happening in there. You see the responses, you see the cost and you see how fast uh, they are. So in here, you have the interfaces with the traces, you have sessions in here that uh, Lang uh, fuse it's grouping them, generation scores. In here, you have the models with the price and you can even insert prompts. You can add users in here if you want. You can use data sets. For instance, in the settings, you will uh, have the options to create an API key and link this to your project. I'm using this with Flowwise, for instance, because it has an integration. And for instance, in here, if we're going to type something, I have already configured in here. So you can see that this is enabled. We're going to see in this video how you can do that. You can go, for instance, and type something and then it will be displayed in Langfuse. So in here, I've typed something. And in here, if you go to traces, you'll see that the trace has popped up in here and you see the cost and see the lat latency. You go and see the prompt and the response in this area. And in the settings, for instance, yeah, you have the API keys that you can uh, create and link this to any application you want. This application has integration with uh, Langchain, LLMA index, and it also have a TypeScript SDK and a Python SDK that you can use to add in your application. So for instance, in here, you see that you just need to install it. And when you are going to use it with uh, Python, for instance, you need to define this observe in here and run the LLM through their, uh, to their library. So yeah, this tool is offering an uh, alternative to the Langsmith one, and you can self-host it on your uh, VPS server easily with Docker. This is their website. This tool is built with the help of Next.js. Yeah, in here you can, uh, check all the details. So in this video, we're going to see how you can deploy this. We're going to deploy it in Docker. We're going to use Cloudflare tunnels to secure this and add an SSL certificate to it. I've already created an article in this area that we're going to, to follow and uh, deploy Langfuse and see exactly what you need to do to have this tool running and uh, track your AI application. And uh, the first thing that you need to, to have is to have a VPS server. I'm recommending Hesner. I let here some links with uh, also some video in the description that will help you set this thing up. We're going to use uh, Dogge for this to deploy the the Langfuse. And uh, I will let a link into, to, into the description how you can set Dogge. You can deploy it uh, without Dogge, with Dogge or compose if you want. And this is the Langfuse compose file. And right now let's go and install this and see exactly what you need to, to do. So let's go and see exactly what the Docker compose file it's having. So we can follow it and see exactly what it has. So in here you have the Docker compose file and here you see that it uses Postgres to track all of the requests and store them. It uh, uses a volume to store the data for Postgres. It has the users in the variables. Also in here you have the Langfuse uh, image and this Docker Compose file, it's using the latest tag in here. And I'm created a port for this. The port, it will be 5061 that will be used to link it to Cloudflare tunnels. And in here you have the database URL, you have the next uh, authentication URL. Basically, this will be the domain that you are going to use for your application. In here, we have some secrets that are created. In here, we have the options to enforce the HTTPS. You have the external experimental feature disable. And in here, you have the authentication disable sign up because basically in the beginning, we are going to install this with the options to have an account created. And afterwards, we can go and disable the 
authentication so uh, others cannot sign up because this is internet facing you can also enable to factor authentications for for this with other services like for instance github and things like that and let me copy this and go into dogj and uh, create all the necessary things that we'll have in here so in here i will just hit compose and in here i will put the name langfuse and in here i will put the docker compose file i will let it like this and then we're going to go into the variables and add our variables for the second step and in here you see that you have the variables for this i have a postgres user password the database and in here you have the next authentication secret that is generated with OpenSSL, rand and base 32 you just run this and in here we have the authentication disable sign up to to false so we can register and then i'll copy all of these things and i will paste it in here i will let the network to be created for this and right now what we need to do is to go and save and then we can go and uh, start this and right now the images will be fetched and uh, yeah it will take about one minute or two for everything to be set up and you see in here that uh, at the end you will have the applications that it's running and uh, what we are going to do right now is to go into the cloudflare tunnels and we are going to configure everything in there so we can use uh, this with ssl and access it directly not with the the port and uh, let me copy the url from here and in here i have the tunnels i will add a public host name already i've created a tutorial with how you can uh, install this with docj so i will let the link to the description for this add the lang fuse in here i will set the domain this is the subdomain used in the installation and in here i'll choose the http and i will paste the url i will just remove the http from there and I will let it like this. I will save the host name and this will create our tunnel and right now we can go and access this. So I am uh, in here and the first thing that we are going to do is to go and sign up for this and I will create an uh, account. I will put Ragosh in here, the email address. I will put a password. Sign up. Right now you have this uh, in here and the first thing that you need to, to do is to go and create a new project. I will put my project bit those. I'll hit create. And in here you see you have the settings for this with all of the traces and everything. You have the host name in here. And the first thing that we're going to do is to go and create the API keys so we can use them. So in here I created the API keys for this these are the api keys that we are going to use and link our application and in here you see that you have the python options that you can use that will tell you what you need to do for the js you have the details as well you have the open ai with length chain llma index so you have all the details in here so you can start tracking your application and for this for instance we're going to go and configure this in our FlowWise because the FlowWise is offering directly integration with this and in the credentials sections we can add a credential in here and we can go and search Langfuse API and in here you can create a name in here I'll put Bidoze2 because I already created one in here we are going to go and fetch the details from the settings and you have the public key and the private key the secret key let me fetch the public key first i'll put it in here and then i will fetch the secret key and in here you will need to place your url for this and it will be langfusebitdoze.com And I will hit add. So right now we have the integration added in here. You see that I have uh, two. And we can go to the chat flow and the search chat that I'm using for test. 
we just need to go and configure this in there in the configurations we go analyze and in here we can go and choose our second one and in here i will hit save and enable this you see that right now this is enabled and uh, the next thing that we are going to do is to go and test this to see that it's working let me clear this and in here i will just type sign something like how are you yeah and now this has responded and what we should do next is go and see that this is working let me close this and in the dashboard you see that we already have one traces is using the chatgpt 4 mini and in here in the traces you have all the details for this trace so right now you can go and start using it and for instance right now uh, the other thing that you should do is to disable the authentication for this so to do that you just need to go into the dogen container again you can edit this and in here you can set the authentication disabled to true so no one can register you can create your accounts or you can add them after so we need to update it that we cannot authenticate and right now you see in here that the sign up has been disabled you only have the options to sign in so in this way you are disabling the the sign up options in langfuse i hope you enjoyed the the video